Hi everyone and welcome to another Q&A with me. Um, I have a few questions. I actually have a long list of questions, but I don't want to stick you here for 30 minutes. So I'm going to answer around four. And then um, if you have any more questions, put them in the comments and I'll be around in another Monday or so. So first, thank you guys for playing along with me with these videos. They are kind of fun to do and I hope you guys are enjoying them. Um, so let's get started. So someone's asking, what is the reading order of the Talon Pack series? So the Talon Pack series is a spin-off of the Redwood Pack series. So you do not need to read the Redwood Pack series in order to understand the Talon Pack series. The Talon Pack is 30 years after the Redwood Pack series, and that's um, based on some of the Redwood Pack children as they've grown up. And um, as we're moving on into the series, it's a lot more of surrounding the actual talons. Um, but in terms of reading order, you can find any of these reading orders on my site or on pretty much any um, Amazon or iBooks or Kobo or anything like that. I love reading in reading order, so I make sure that it's easy for you. But in terms of what I can help you with right now, so... Uh, a Thousand and One Dark Nights did Wicked Wolf with me, and this is technically Redwood Pack Book 8, but I also call it the prequel to the Talon Pack series because it's set 15 years after the Redwoods and 15 years before the Talons. So it's a little bit of a bridge between the two. So I would read this just because um, I really enjoy it, but there you go. That's point five in the Talon Pack series. And then book one is called Tattered Loyalties, and this one came out last January. And then book two is an Alpha's Choice. This one came out in August. Okay, so here's the three books for you all in one hand. Well, two hands. Well, you see. Huh. Um, I'm writing the third one right now. It's called Mated and Mist, and that releases February 16th. You can pre-order it now if you go to my website or even search on Amazon or iBooks, anywhere that you um, usually buy books, um, Mated and Mist. So there you go. And um, this actually leads into another question, which is asking, will Quinn and Gina from Wicked Wolf have babies? Which I love the fact that I get so many questions on when my characters will have babies. It actually makes me kind of happy. Um, they, it has been 15, 16 years since they first mated. And Quinn, if you've read the book, or even if you've read the back of the blurb, um, you know he has a child from his previous meeting. And so Gina and him have raised that child together, but they have not had a child of their own because wolves le live for hundreds of years. And so sometimes it takes a bit for them to want to have children or even be able to have children. They haven't yet as of Made It and Mist, which I'm writing now, but I do know that they will soon. I don't know if it's going to get into this book just because Ryder actually isn't friends with Quinn and Gina as much as he is with others. So perhaps uh, book four or five, um, you'll get to see that or at least hear about it, but um, they weren't ready yet. And I do know that so everyone wants to know like when Bree and Gideon or Finn and Bryn are having children. And in reality, where I'm at right now, it's been like a month since they've made it, so they're not ready yet. Um, and then as of the, my alphas, they've really only been together for a year, and, um, the, I don't want to give spoilers away from the series, but if you've read a little bit of it, you know, like, the world's completely shifting, and so not only are they working on finding mates with them, uh, within their pack, but they're also having to fight this war on, like, three ends, and so it's slow building in terms of how these battles are worn, and... I know that with the Redwoods that they had children fairly quickly because that's just how it came to me and it really helped with the Talon Pack series because all those kids are already born. Um, I do know Gideon and Bree are talking about it. <laughs> I, they sound like real people in my head, I'm sorry. But um, they're not ready to bring a child into this world where they're so on uneven footing. But I do know that surprises happen and they're fighting to save their pack and their livelihood, and if they're not, they, they're going to want to move on to the path of that livelihood, which is finding mates, even in all this chaos, and eventually having children. So eventually, just not 100% sure when, we'll figure that out. There's a lot of siblings, so <laughs> first they need to all find mates, and then I'll 
figure out when people are having children in the middle of that. That has to do with all of my paranormal series, by the way. A lot of them have had kids right off the bat because it worked for their mating. But like with the Montgomery Inc. series, that's contemporary, so they're not going to um, all have children on a neat, orderly fashion. In fact, I know something's happening that's going to be... You'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, okay, next question. When will an immortal song be on Amazon? Okay, so Immortal Song is Dante's Circle Book 6, and it comes out on April, um, April 5th, day before my birthday. Woo! Um, I don't, I only have 90 day pre-orders for Amazon because I'm an indie author, so I don't, I'm not allowed to put it on there longer than that. So that's why um, most of my books are all on Barnes & Noble, iBooks, Kobo, and Google Play for like a year or six months or four months, something like that, because they give me the option and I know the dates that are going to happen and I feel comfortable with my deadlines that I'm going to make it. Um, Amazon, I put it up as soon as I can, but I'm not allowed to have it more than 90 days. So that's why if you follow my newsletter, which you can find right on my website or right up on Facebook up at the top that says sign up, um, I tell you exactly when it's up on Amazon if you want to pre-order then. I love the fact that you guys want to pre-order longer, but they just don't let me. Okay, next question. When will the Redwood Pack be in print? Um, it actually is in print right now. It's in the Redwood Pack volumes, one through six. And I did that because back in 2011, it was actually a little more difficult to get um, the size of the novellas in print. And I didn't want to just put like book two in print or book four in print or something like that and make it a little harder for you. So I put them in volumes. But now I have the option and I have a little bit of a surprise coming up for you guys. So the Redwood Pack will be in print individually soon. So more to that coming soon. And um, I, I already have seen part of it, so I'm really excited. But okay. So then, um, okay, so last question. What conferences are you going to in 2016? So this is right on the front of my website under appearances, and it's un also under about me. But um, I'm going to tell you anyway. So um, in February, February 4th through 7th, I hope I have the dates right because that's on my website. Um, I'll be at Coastal Magic, which is in Daytona, Florida. So it's the Coastal Magic Convention. Um, I really, really love this conference. It's going to be a lot of fun, and you can sign, um, you can register now for it. Um, the hotel is right on the beach, so in February time, I'm up in Pennsylvania, so I'm going to be freezing. So coming down to Florida, is, I love doing that conference. For that alone, and then add in the fact that it's amazing authors, and I love the readers that go. So I'm really, I hope you guys get to come. And then after that, um, in April, is RT in Vegas. Registration's open for that. And if you've been on social media at all, as a romance reader for any time, you know what the Romantic Times convention is, RT. And this time it's in Vegas, and I'm actually celebrating my birthday there um, because I'm a dork and I really enjoy celebrating birthdays in Vegas, apparently. Um, this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm doing a bunch of events. I'm having a fan club party and everything, so I really, really hope you guys get to go to that. Um, on April 20th, I'm doing a day of wine and romance, and this is organized by uh, author Ross Lee, who I adore, and this is up in New Jersey, so it's a little bit of a drive for me, but not too much, and it's just a day at a winery, and um, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's there might be an entrance fee. I'm not. I need to go read it again because apparently I've forgotten. But um, it's a signing at a winery. Um, oh, okay, yeah. So it's free, and there's an optional five dollar wine tasting. So there we go. Ha! Huh, there we go. So I'm. This is my first time doing it, but um, Rosalie is an amazing author, an amazing person. So I'm really excited to be able to work with her. Um, so it's a day at a winery with books. I mean, wine and books, how could you go wrong? And I'll probably find chocolate of some sort, so that way it, you know, makes the try, the try there. Okay, so then after that in August, I'll be at Love in Vegas. This is a, technically it's a one-day signing in Las Vegas. Somehow I'm going to Las Vegas twice this year. I don't know how that happened. Um, it's August 5th through 7th, and so Friday of that is a meet and greet which is you have to get a separate ticket for. Then Saturday's the signing that you need to get a ticket for. And then Saturday night is the party that you need to get a ticket for. So you can do one or all three. I know most readers love to do all three. So it's an all-day signing. And I'm going to do pre-orders of books at that. So that way you can pick out what books of mine you can that you want me to bring for you. And then you prepay. And then it's right at the 
table for me so you know you're going to get those this way. Um, because I have, you know, 40 books by then. Well, I have like 45 books by then. Um, you're not waiting um, too long and you're not going, well, I wanted this book from 2012 and you're not going to have it. I will have it if you pre-order. Okay, so um, so that's in Vegas, and it's going to be a blast. I'm really excited because there's a lot of new people that I've never met before, and Charity and I are going to go and have fun. So after that is Shameless Book Con in Orlando, Florida, which this is going to be a blast. This is um, much like the Love in Vegas. It's There's the meet and greet, the signing, and then the after party. Tickets go on sale in January for it, and those are going to go really fast. Um, it's in Orlando, Florida. It's going so... I'm really excited. That's in October of 2016, and uh, but you can book your hotel now. I know that much because I did that. Okay, so that's it for 2016. It seems like a lot now, and I'm tired, but there you go. Um, thank you guys so much. If you have any more questions, put them in the comments, and I'll answer them as I can. Thank you guys for listening, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.